Hi everybody, it's Lynn. Uh, I have a new bracelet design for us. I haven't made this bracelet yet. I have started one, but I didn't want to complete it without showing you what I'm doing. So the last strand I have saved to do with you. Um, what this is, I'm using three millimeter pearls, glass pearls. Um, I had a very long strand in this light blue and one in this lavender and I liked the way they looked together. They're very subtle but there is a slight difference in the tone so I thought it would look real pretty and what's going to happen is they're going to be doubled. So we are actually going to have what looks like an eight strand pearl bracelet when we get this completed. So I have that. Uh, I've used clamshell covers and seed beads to put the ends on and I'm using the clamshell covers for that as you can see and then the clasp I've chosen is this large heart clasp okay these I got at Timu but I see them at places like Michael's and Joann's and Hobby Lobby so uh, I'm sure you can find something you don't have to use a big lobster claw if you don't want to or a large clasp I'm choosing to do this more as a decoration sort of on the bracelet so let's go ahead and do this last strand and then we'll put it together and you can see our cute little bracelet so the way I'm starting out is I'm taking a seed bead and a clamshell cover for my end there I'm gonna pull those down now I'm using just normal nylon beading thread nothing you know special here um, I just happen to have this in lavender in my, um, I'm not even sure what brand this is. I just know it's a nylon beading thread. So I've put my seed bead and my clamshell cover on, and then I put a bead stopper here to hold that as I secure this end, and we glue that. So I'm just going to tie some knots in this end of the string. To hold those in place until I can glue them. So let's just tie some knots here and we'll be able to move on then. I hope everybody had a great weekend. It's Monday morning here for me. Um, quite early. It's not even six yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of an early riser. Okay, let's see. Yeah, maybe another knot or two. You want to not have your knot so big that you can't securely close your clamshell cover, but you need it big enough to hold that seed bead in place. Okay, so we have that done. And I'm going to take off the bead stop, get everything pulled down tight, take my glue, and put a tiny drop. This is gel super glue, so you have some viscosity there so it doesn't run all over the place like the liquid does so you know it's worth it to pick up that the tube of the gel and then close your clamshell cover very carefully okay I'm gonna go ahead and cut the excess thread okay now all we have to do is string our beads on to get them to the length of our other strands there. So let's do that real quick. I want to thank all of my new subscribers for, for coming in and tell all of you that have been with me for a while that I appreciate you so much. Your comments make my day. I can't thank you enough for your kindness and support. It means the world to me, truly. So a sincere thank you to all of you. Um, this channel started March 31st of this year, and today is July 3rd, so we are moving along. It takes time to build a channel, but you know what? We're working on it, right? <laughs> so we'll just keep going, keep trying to come up with new ideas. And I'll say again, you guys, if there's anything that you would like me to do or that you're interested in learning, please do let me know and I'll do my best to do that for you, okay?
so sorry this is boring to watch i know <laughs> As a matter of fact, maybe I'll go off screen, finish loading these onto my thread, and come back and show you what we'll do, okay? So let me put this on pause, get that done, and I'll be back very soon. Okay, I have the beads strung on, so let's put the end on. So first, I'm putting on a clamshell, okay? Then another seed bead. These are, I'm just using size 11 seed beads here. These were some Toho's I happen to have, so it doesn't matter what you use. I'm going to cut the thread here by my needle. Make sure everything's pulled down. Okay, and now we're going to tie knots in this end. Okay, so let's do that. And then we'll put our glue on it here in just a second. I just want to make sure our knot is big enough. Yeah, just for good measure, a little more. Okay, and I think that should be fine. So we're going to put our tiny drop of super glue right on top of that knot just a little bit don't get too much because you don't want to make your bracelet sticky okay we're going to close that cut off our excess thread okay now we're going to take all of our strands and put them together. Now you can either twist these, make sure they're all straight or whatever you want to do there. I'm going to grab a jump ring. Get it open. And put our strands on. And like I said, put them in any order you want. It doesn't matter. If you want to use multicolor beads, that would be pretty. No problem. If you want to use all one color, that's fine. Just as I say all the time, you have complete creative control. And this one is going to give me a hard time. We got some thread inside the opening there. Okay, got it. All right, I'm going to hold these up and thread them through my, my um, ring. Like so. And then finish putting them on the jump ring. This little bracelet comes together fast. So the, you know, the, the longest part is just stringing your, your beads. But you could have a bracelet like this done in an hour without a problem. Okay, let's get our jump ring then attached to our lobster claw or whatever you're using for your clasp and make sure you get it closed real good because as you know those clamshells will slide off a jump ring real easy and y'all here's our bracelet Isn't that cute now because it's a lobster claw I don't know if I can get it on or not but I'll try let me let me see if I can Okay, there you have it. Cute little bracelet, easy to make. This could have been a couple of beads longer, but it'll be okay. 
All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me on this video. I hope you got something out of it. Um, you know, it is a cute piece and it's different. You're not going to see this in a store anywhere. That's for sure. All right, y'all. I hope the rest of your day is wonderful. Please take good care of yourselves. Thank you for being here and I'll see you on the next video. Okay. Bye-bye.